So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a pen that I used to use a lot in the past, but honestly, I completely forgot it existed. And that is the Pilot Better Ballpoint Pen. I have it here in two varieties. So this is the Pilot Better Ballpoint Pen in a stick. And this is the Pilot Better Ballpoint Pen in a retractable version. Uh, and yeah, I just remember these being around all the time. They were, they had the sort of translucent or they, sometimes they call it crystal uh, body. I remember being green, now they're blue, uh, but maybe if the pen is black, it was green. I don't know. I remember that sort of, that crystal body always reminded me of the, uh, the Bic crystal, a very similar look and feel. And then it has this, uh, this ribbing here that is uh, the grip and that's sort of, at least to me, somewhat iconic. Hadn't seen these pens in years and years. Saw them recently, so I picked them up. They sell for about a dollar each and they sell in big packs. So you might see a 12 pack of the retractables on Amazon for like $13, probably less in a big box store if you were to buy these at Staples or something like that. Maybe a little bit more online, just gotta factor in the shipping. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to run through them because it is definitely, to me, a blast from the past and then probably a fairly popular pen still, even if they're not on my radar. So look at the stick first. Uh, very simple pen, fully plastic cap. It's that sort of brittle plastic that if you bend it up here, it'll just snap. It's a little bit sharp, something like someone would chew up and give to you when you needed a pen in school or you'd be handed to sign a receipt in. But uh, yeah, so just kind of junky cap, not very fancy. Crystal body, which is that really tough, hard plastic. I actually like this material, but uh, nothing fancy. It does say Pilot BPS, and that's just better pen S being stick, and this is the fine. The fine, I believe, is 0.7 millimeter, and this one is a medium, which is a 1.0 millimeter. They, they do write on the skinny side. Made in Japan, uh, we see there is a metal, like a steel cone at the front, and you can take this out, and it's a very old school ballpoint. So it's just a skinny little oil-based ink. It's a ballpoint, obviously. And again, this is what almost all the pens we use day to day used to have, and the better just has withstood the test of time. And we can see just that hard plastic, how it looks. This is the only metal component on it, just that little cone piece. You could also take out the back, and this would be the, the real way to remove the refill, and it's a little bit of a press fit there. And that is about all there is to the stick. Uh, this posts, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, pretty well weighted, pretty good looking pretty cheap. So basically my standard qualification for an office style ballpoint pen. And they're tractable. Pricing is about the same. Again, like $13 will get you 12 of them, give or take. Uh, this one does have a metal clip, no cap, obviously. Same metal cone up front. Although the sizing is a little different, which is odd. Like why does retractable have a different size than the stick? I'm not really sure, but it does. Uh, this one has, this feels like metal to me. Yeah, I believe that's a metal button up there, metal clip. So you do see some fancier features on the tractable. Pretty okay click action. Nothing too great or notable, but does the job. Not very satisfying for a click. Same hard plastic body, that sort of translucent body. I would call it a crystal, has a slight blue to it. And again, I could have sworn these had a slight green to them back in the day. So if you do see it with a slight green, let me know in the comments. One of the interesting things about the retractable is uh, you actually get a lot less ink than with the stick. So if you're like super into pens that last a long time, keep that in mind. You could see that the retractable has, you know, you lose about maybe a third call it, of your ink, maybe 25% of your ink relative to the stick. So uh, worth keeping in mind if you have to do a lot of writing, or again, you're super conscious of uh, 
you know, just the amount of value you're getting in your pen. I guess that's okay. The retractable has a more complex mechanism, so you lose out on some ink. But it is interesting to note. Pen goes back together, no problem. You know, construction on these is fine. We wouldn't expect to have any issues with them. Uh, I did a quick writing sample. So here we see the Pilot Better Pen in medium, that's the retractable, versus the stick in fine. Just a slight difference there. To me, the, uh, the stick actually feels a little shaky. Like it just doesn't feel as well constructed. And this is like a not a perfectly, uh, you know, it's not smooth surface when I'm not writing on a paper pad, it's just on this uh, cutting pad. There's a little bit of texture as you could hear, sometimes with the ballpoint. And then here we're doing the medium. You probably hear the difference between this and the stick. I uh, start between this and the retractable. And this is the, uh, just this is the stick in medium. Listen how quiet that is. And now listen to the retractable. Retractable, whatever. It's louder and has that sort of shakiness to it. And it just seems like it's uh, constructed with slightly worse tolerances than the stick. So probably just nitpicking here, but I would say if you're choosing between the two, uh, and I almost always go with a retractable over stick, Definitely get the stick for the pilot better. Uh, yeah, that about that's about it. You know, the the only question here is like, okay, it's the better ballpoint. What is it better than? Uh, pilot doesn't sell a worse ballpoint. Uh, at least not in name. They do sell some stuff that is worse than this. So I guess that is worth keeping in mind. I guess the it's supposed to be better than the Bic Crystal and the sort of competitors. And I'm honestly not really sure that it is, they seem about the same to me. And it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, I do like that hard plastic, that is very cool to me. So I'm gonna try to find an upgraded uh, ink for these and just kind of hot rod these things a little bit because I do love this old school body. It's just like, I don't know. I, again, I used to use these back in the day. I have grew an appreciation for them even though it's not really that great of a pen and like, Look at this misalignment. Come on. It's like just what five degrees off. You couldn't get that right. That sort of stuff is just, uh, just sloppy. Anyway, that's the pilot better ballpoint pen. Uh, it's not that great. Thanks for watching.